Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So in this week's video, we're going to go over um, the second part of the built-in. We're waiting for that. It comes next Sunday on the 16th. I am so excited about it. We almost had a delay and it was gonna be pushed back until the 23rd and I was uh, quite bummed about it, but um, Catalan Pro Services came through for us and so they're gonna install on the 16th. So I'm beyond thrilled about that. So. I just wanted to go over today some of the items that I purchased for the built-in. This is not all of the items. Um, we still need to get more because the built-in itself is going to be so large. I feel like what we have now is just, it's not enough. So um, I just wanted to share some things. So I got this bowl here, which I really love. Um, it also is a white bowl and it has like a, a wood interior. I really like it because I think it matches a lot with the shiplap because if you can see the detailing on here. So I felt like, oh, this is a nice bowl. And actually Matt picked it out. It was at Kirkland's and it was on the clearance rack. Um, but the only issue with the bowl that I kind of hesitated with purchasing is it had this crack here. Now, typically I wouldn't buy something like this because of the crack um, and it was on clearance for $24.97, but she was able to discount it severely for us because of the crack. And I believe we only paid like eight bucks or so for it. So I'm, I was thrilled about it. I was like, I'll take it. Once the girl turns it around this way in the um, bookshelf, you won't be able to tell anyway. So I got that. Also, they were having a clearance on Christmas decor. Um, so if you know, like these beads right now are like really in the wood beads and they come in like black, white, gray, different colors. And typically they're like this and then they have like a little tassel on them. And it's basically just beads and you wrap it around something or you can just layer them in a bowl. Well, I didn't feel like spending like 20 bucks for them. Um, I know that on Amazon you find something for like 10 bucks or so, but even that I was just like, it's just wood beads. So I got these and they were, it's actually a Christmas garland, so it goes around your tree. And I have some already, um, but they are ones that I got from Hobby Lobby, but they were like, these ones are like a matte finish and the ones that I have are like, um, I don't know, what is that? They're, what is it? I don't know. Anyways, they have like a plastic kind of finish. Not a plastic finish, but shiny. Mm. Anyways, so I got these and they were like $3 and they were in clearance as well. So for this big garland, it was three bucks and I was like, this will work. I'll just put them in my bowl, style it, label it little out, put it there, put some books under, bam. So that's what I have here. And I thought that was a really good find. I also purchased this, just a cute little um, glass jar that I like. And I thought that it goes with the farmhouse style as well, especially with having the, um, what is this called? Uh, what is this called? No. Oh, twine? Oh yeah, okay. So the, especially with having the twine here, I thought that was like encompasses with the farmhouse style, just to give a little nod. And then it has some eucalyptus in it. And I really love eucalyptus. It's like one of my favorite plants because I feel like it's like a low key plant. It's not too green where it looks super artificial when you're doing artificial plants. So I really go for a eucalyptus look. And also I like the glass jar because downstairs in our guest room, we have um, a glass vase that has cotton in it. Um, so I thought that this was kind of tie into those places too. So I like the glass jar. Another thing that I got as well from Target is some wall art. Um, I always feel like having a little bit of art is really nice to go in the built-ins or anywhere in the house, but I like to have neutral pieces and I don't not really want to have anything that has like a lot of color in it. So I figured that this one was really pretty. Um, and then I really like the frame on it too. So that will go in the, uh, the built-in. I just don't know if I should get something that I can kind of like make it a stand and I put it on there, like one of those um, artist stands or art stands, to put, or easel, that's what it's called, an easel to put it in. Um, so we'll see, or I'll just maybe lean it against something in the bookshelf. So I got that. And then I also got this from Kirkland's. It's another vase. Now, I love these vases. The color is not my favorite, but I just don't know if I'm going to put this in the on the bookshelf or if I'm going to keep it for another project that we're gonna do in our owner's um, entryway. We're gonna get a console and I really want a nice vase and put some um, floral in there. But this is the same kind of vase that's on top of my, um, uh, what is it, my chopping block in the kitchen. So I have a white one of this one and it also has some eucalyptus in there, but it's like a fall color. So. I don't know, maybe I'll give it a good spray of some black Rustoleum farmhouse. And I got this as well. This is just a basket. It matches the baskets that are in my um, 
glass cabinets that are in the kitchen. So I kind of wanted to tie in those spaces since the built-in, you can see that from the kitchen as well, but this is just a larger um, basket compared to the other small ones that are in there. So I don't know if I'm gonna leave that empty. Maybe I will, or I'll put something in there. I just don't know as of yet. And also that this, it just came today from FedEx. Now, you guys, the, I don't have a problem with Amazon. I don't have a problem with, um, with Amazon delivers their stuff like ASAP. UPS, I don't have an issue with, and even the United States Postal Service. Now, when it comes to FedEx, they are horrible. I can never get anything on time. They always, they'll mark something delivered and it's not even delivered. Like I had one time I purchased something from Wayfair and I think it was Lanaya's headboard. So anyways, I purchased it from the headboard from Wayfair and then it says that it was delivered. And they said that they left it by my garage. So I have a camera where my garage is so I can see, like, you know, I can just open it up and I can see. Um, and so anyways, I was looking and I was looking through my ring as well and I didn't see FedEx come or go and I didn't see most definitely her headboard. So I called FedEx, you know, and I kind of let them have it. Like, where is my package? This is the second time this has happened because I ordered another, I ordered a bed frame for the kids and it never got delivered. They delivered to somewhere else, some other street that's kind of similar to our street. And then I was supposed to open like, a, I guess a case for it. And no one called me to let me know what happened to the bed frame. So I had to call Wayfair, get a whole new bed frame. It was a mess. So anyways, they marked that as being delivered. And like I said, I, I didn't receive it. They came like an hour later and then dropped off the headboard. Like, why do you do that? Why are you marking it delivered? And you clearly did not deliver it. So I have a love hate relationship with FedEx love because I have no choice and I need to get my items and hate because I hate them every time they get used, so it's a lovely. <laughs> so anyways, so I got this um, from Target, and it finally came today, and it is, Matt hasn't seen it either, so we're gonna open it. He's behind the camera looking. <laughs> so this will go for the um, built-in as well, and I just wanted like a glass item so I can put like some candles in it and stuff. I'll show you the info picture of what I have for this. I saw someone on Target.com that had it, and you know how you look at the reviews and have reviews of pictures? I get some info from those too. So once I saw that, I was like, oh, I gotta have that, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Hey, package tight in here. Hold on. Oh, there's a little bit. Well, I love the packaging because it is glass, so um, it's, it's good to know that they're protecting it. Workout. This. I love it. It's just like a glass vase. I'm gonna put some candles in here and then some green eucalyptus and just put it up on the bookshelf. And I think I love it. Like it has the black that will match with our theme. It has the glass. I love glass jars. And I think it's beautiful. And it's like a little lantern, but it's modern farmhouse. It's not like a regular lantern kind of thing. But it's cute. I love it. You like it, babe? It's nice. It was only $19.99, it was on clearance. Yeah, I think they only had like three or four left and I love it. So this is from Target, so shout out to Target, they did an awesome job. And this is the Hearth and Hand um, by Magnolia Collection, so I really love it. So that, was my, that was actually a good one, I like that. So I hope you guys like the items so far that I've gotten for the bookcase. I feel like everything really goes together. It all has a theme, either it's black or white or some greenery. And I think maybe I can leave this concrete. I don't know, maybe we'll see if it works or not. But I think everything so far goes well. I'm just waiting for some other items that come on Monday. You guys will see that in the final reveal next Sunday of the bookshelf. Um, so I'm waiting for some other items. And then of course, over time, we'll put other things in there. I can't wait to decorate for Christmas too. It's gonna be really nice. So anyways, I did wanna go over um, the giveaway. So we did reach our 3,000 subscriber giveaway. So again, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. We'll do another one once we hit 5,000 subscribers. But for this one, the winner is Cindy Ray. I'm so excited because this one holds true because she has a Calvin four plan just like mine. Um, so she is a winner. She moves in in 10 days is her closing. So let's all give her a round of applause. Congratulations, Cindy. Um, so this one holds true to me because 
it's actually a Fisher, another Fisher homeowner that's winning this time. And not that, you know, it was anything, it was just randomly the Matt chose someone and we ended up looking at the comment like, oh my gosh, she's a Fisher homeowner as well, or soon to be Fisher homeowner once she closes in those 10 days. So again, congratulations. And thank you guys so much for all entering. Um, you know, I wish I can pick all of you, but the girl ain't got money like that. So um, next time we'll do something special for 5,000 subscribers. Um, so yeah. So in this video, I'm actually going to redo my console and the foyer as well because my rug came. Thank you guys. <laughs> so my jute rug came. I'm so excited about it. It looks beautiful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the foyer together so you guys will see the completed look of the foyer. If you follow me on Instagram, we got a sneak peek. Matt was like, that's not a sneak peek, that's the whole foyer. <laughs> but you'll get, you uh, received it or saw a, a sneak peek of our foyer. Um, and then I'm going to redo our console. Um, I got some new items for it. I think this look is gonna be our final look. So I'm redecorating our console. This time, I think it's gonna be the final look of how the console will look all year until of course we get to holiday seasons and I change it up. But I think this is gonna be the main look. I feel like it's sophisticated. It also encompasses a little bit of Studio McGee. Um, if you guys watch Studio McGee, she was actually the inspiration of me um, wanting to create my channel, just to change it up just a little bit as far as like, I love her st uh, style and I also love uh, Magnolia as well, or, you know, Joanna Gaines. And I think my style kind of fuses both of them together because I'm not too bold as far as doing farmhouse and having, you know, a farmhouse overload in my home. But I also like Studio McGee because her, her styling is just sophisticated. It's nice, it's grown, it's sexy. Um, so I think I do a good job with infusing both, infusing both of those styles together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the console and give you guys a little peek um, of, oh, and also some inspiration of how the um, built-in will look. So we're gonna go ahead and input that now so you'll be able to see what that will look like and then you kind of can envision all of the things that we purchased up on the console or the built-in as soon as it gets done. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here I'm just painting the shiplap. Um, the shiplap came naturally in a white finish, but it was just kind of like an off-white, so we wanted to make sure that it matches with our existing paint color. So I went ahead and just threw some paint on it. With, again, it's our Sher Sherwin-Williams um, extra white in a satin finish to match with the fireplace. Making sure not to hit those sconces because we spent so much time painting them. So for this space, again, I wanted to recreate the console space and give it just some new life to it, make it a little bit more grown up. Um, so that vase was originally going to go on a console um, for our um, entryway to our owner suite, but I decided to utilize it here. I think it just it just works better in this space. So I got that uh, vase from Home Goods, and I just put some eucalyptus that I got from um, Kirkland's, and then the wheatgrass. Um, I got that from another store local to my area. I just can't remember the store. Again, that picture frame, which has all our beautiful photos from our travels um, in it. I had that from our other home and I just put them in a black and white photos. Those cute little lanterns, I got them from um, Bath and Body Works. Uh, excuse me, I said Bath and Body Works. I got them from Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, and they were actually pretty decent in price. The smaller ones were 11 bucks each, and I believe the taller one was about 14 bucks. Um, if you see the strings coming out of them, that's like the test me for the lantern to come on, but I don't have any more AA batteries, so I'll have to get some. Um, but until I get them, then I'll remove that. The pillow and blanket is um, something that I already had and actually is stain from Christmas that was actually in the console and I liked how that looked so I just kept it there. I was going back and forth if you saw my original console decor here um, I didn't want a mirror. Matt doesn't really like a lot of mirrors around the house which is weird I know right um, but um, with this one I was like you know I really want a mirror on here I feel like with a mirror it just enhances the space and makes it feel larger I'm adding a mirror. So that mirror was a mirror that I had from our first home. Um, so it's about eight years old and it actually came with a 
bed set that I had and it had a mirror that came over the chest of drawers. Um, so I took the mirror off and I used to have it hanging over our fireplace in our first house. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change the mirror and have it go um, you know, vertical. And I think it really adds a nice balance to it. It also um, goes well with the picture frame since the picture frame is the same shape as the mirror. Kind of the same design as well on the ends. Um, so yeah, I think it came out really great. This is gonna be the permanent look all year round except for holidays that the console will be changed. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. repurposing things and I've found that you know certain things that I put around the house or in other places have not really fit there so this if you guys are familiar was on our um, mud bench so I found a new space for it here in a beautiful foyer so it goes here and then this was on our mud bench as well but I just stuck, stuck some green grass in there just to give the foyer some type of greenery when you first come in and um, just something nice to look at. So that's there. Again, our foyer with these pictures that we put here, and that was the look that I wanted it to be more, I guess, traditional here, but also kept with a nice farmhouse vibe because I see this a lot in a lot of farm homes. Um, and then of course we changed out that light. That is not a standard light that came from our builder, Fisher. And then also we'll have some more privacy here once our um, custom shutters come in. So I did order a, a shutter to go in the back of the front door. So I'll be glad when that comes in because we do have when the kiddos come to ask for my little one to play, they do a lot of this <laughs> every time. So I'll have some more privacy. So this bench here, we got it from Home Goods and it was 79 bucks and I love it. It was a find that Matt found. So good job, babe. Um, I think it really helps to brighten up the space. You know, it's a nice contrast between the dark floors in here. Um, and then I purchased a jute rug, which will help hopefully blend, you know, kind of combine it more. So let's go ahead and open that up and finish decorating the space. this week's vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. And again, congratulations, Cindy Ray. Um, I'll make sure to reach out to you on Instagram to let you know exactly when we're going to send you your gift card and where you would like me to send it to your current home or your new home. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about the foyer and the console and then the options that I chose for our built-in. Again, not everything has come, but this is finally one completed space in the house. And I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, the jute rug at first when I was putting it down, I was kind of on the on the outs about it, but I really think that it makes the home feel more organic in this area. It looks really nice. It's actually, Matt was saying that it's very soft under your, under your feet, and it really is. So I think we're going to keep it. Um, so again, thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. And again, comment below and let me know what you guys think. Bye guys.